The psychologist and trauma specialist Peter Levine invented a term called pendulation. A person's been traumatized and they, they're, they're, they're locked up. Okay. Now, and they're not in, they, they're not in contact with this. You know, they, this is just the way the body is. So what happens is when they begin to first notice this, it actually feels worse and they feel themselves contracting. But the therapist, skilled with the rhythm and knowing when the right time is, leads them to be with that sensation, but then it starts to open. See, we have an intrinsic rhythm, life rhythm. It's of contraction and expansion. We are always, at any time, we are either contracting or expanding. Now, some people have come to interpret Peter Levine's pendulation as the movement from the sympathetic to the parasympathetic state. The parasympathetic is called rest and digest. And this is what people call recovery. Peter talks about the anxiety associated with someone who's locked into that sympathetic contraction. When they go into the ice bath and they elevate that sympathetic response that is associated with the gas reflex, of course, they're afraid that it's going to get worse, that they'll never get better, that they'll be overwhelmed by their sympathetic fight or flight response. But when you spend 15, 30 seconds in the ice bath, you structure your breathing, you learn to take control of that involuntary response and make it voluntary, the dive reflex takes over. That's the parasympathetic activation. You pendulate between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic, and you learn to bring yourself out of that locked-in sympathetic state into the rest and digest associated with calm, meditative, recovery. And it allows you to handle all the other stressors that exist in your life or in your imagination.